Should you wear socks with your climbing shoes? When I walk into a climbing gym and I see somebody wearing socks up on the wall and with their climbing shoes, the first initial thought that goes through my head is, oh, they're new. Or mm, they probably don't know exactly what they're doing. Uh, which is not necessarily the case because I will wear socks sometimes with climbing shoes as well. There's reasons to wear socks. There's reasons not to wear socks. Where did that even come from anyways? Don't wear socks with your climbing shoes? Would you ever go out hiking with hiking boots on without wearing socks? Would you go running with your running shoes without wearing socks? Normal shoes today are made with the idea that you're gonna be wearing socks. Where did climbing shoes take the turn to not wear socks with? Because it's definitely uncommon now to wear socks with climbing shoes. But you look back into the 70s and the 80s and the, the main crushers, like the legends of climbing. You can all see pictures of them wearing socks while they're climbing. Big, thick, heavy socks while climbing. So what happened? Let's talk about that. In the early 1900s, when climbing was becoming developed as a sport, it was, it was born from mountaineering. So people started to pull back from the mountaineering and training for mountaineering and started rock climbing, started to get more technical. And that's where the sport of rock climbing, I believe, was born. It was these mountaineers coming down and just focusing and honing their skills on the rock. And that's where we got the main staple of rock climbing can all be traced back to that moment. That in itself became such a challenge and such a delight to climb those walls, to climb those boulders, that that's kind of just where it stuck. And back then, you definitely wore socks. You had your mountain mountaineering boots on and they would actually wear thicker socks or more layers of socks so their foot would be squeezed into this boot so they could edge better. So it actually, we went from wearing thick socks to wearing no socks. That came about as climbing shoes started to become more specialized for climbing. We went away from those big heavy mountaineering boots into tennis shoes, the best that I saw, tight fitting dress shoes. I actually had a pair of dress shoes that I bought at a thrift shop that I used for climbing. Very nice, actually, pretty good. Obviously not as good as one of these, but for a poor, poor kid in the country, it worked. That was a rabbit hole. Let's get back on the topic. As these shoes started to, to develop, they started to go away with that. We wanted to get our foot closer to the rock. With these multiple layers of socks, or just thick socks, that was an additional layer that kept us away from the rock feeling, and it also gave us an additional layer for some slippage. So your shoe would be doing this, and your foot would be doing this. We wanted to help marry those together a little bit more in these awesome slippers that were starting to be designed in the 80s and 90s, maybe even, I mean the 70s definitely is where climbing shoes really started to get a little bit more focused, but they weren't to the point where they were designed to be worn sockless. The climbing shoes today, to my knowledge, are all designed to be worn sockless. So why would you wear a sock with shoes that are designed to be worn sockless? Because there are reasons. Susan, let me tell you the reasons that I will wear socks with climbing shoes. The first reason, I'm just in a hurry. I have five minutes to go to the gym and put in a couple of runs. I'll just slip off my shoes, 
slip on my cruiser shoes, my more relaxed shoes, never these. I could not even think about getting these on with socks. That's one reason, just speed. Uh, another reason, and a much, much better reason than just basically laziness, is it's more hygienic. It's more clean to wear socks with your climbing shoes. So if I am ever in a rental shoe, even though they probably clean them out with a disinfectant spray, um, it's still gross. So I would wear socks, always. Now, the reasons why you wouldn't want to wear socks. The biggest reason that I see is that it gives one more layer that can cause slippage between you and the rock. Now, one could argue that it's only at those higher grades that you need that. However, let me put an argument in your ear. And there was a time that I was working on my project down at Horse Pins 40, and it was just amazing, and I was just trying my hardest, and I definitely was not wearing socks with my shoes. And every little thing that I could do to work on that project, I was doing, because that gave me a little bit of an edge. Now, a climber, another climber, walked up, and he was climbing at a skill level way above me. He was wearing his Crocs, Crocs. He's like, hey, you mind if I uh, give that a go? It's like, yeah, sure, man, give it a go. And he climbed it in his Crocs. Crocs! I still don't think he was wearing socks. And I, I, was, I was struggling to get it, pulling out everything. And, and the reason why I bring up that story is it, it doesn't matter where you're climbing at. Every little edge that you can give yourself is an edge that you can give yourself. If you're projecting on V2s, and that's where your max is, if you can give yourself a little bit of an edge, then you can give yourself a little bit of an edge. By not wearing socks in your climbing shoes, I think that you can obtain a little bit of an edge. You can definitely argue that back. That's okay. I'll, I'll entertain those arguments if you would like down in the comment section below. Please, I would love to actually see whether you think that that's right or wrong, and I will honor your opinion. But that's what it is, their, their opinions. Regardless of whether you want to wear socks or not with your climbing shoes, there's some great products that have been made out there to help reduce that funk, that nastiness <laughs> that builds up in your climbing shoes from not wearing socks. And I wanna share one of those products with you right now. I'm super excited about this product. And this was sent to me to try out. This is from Mainland. It's a shoe odor eliminator. This is the first time that I've pulled that cap off. Citrus with tea tree. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So it says shake the ball. Oh, oh boy. And then we want to hold it up because this is not an aerosol can. This doesn't have any nasty chemicals in it. There's nine ingredients in this thing, almost all of which are essential oils. Let's give it a squirt in here. Okay. And I know that's gonna smell better now. Obviously it's gonna smell better right now because it's got this, wow. That smells really good. I was not expecting that. I probably sp sprayed too much in there. Oh man, that's so much better. I might actually be able to keep these in my bedroom now. Wife wouldn't even know it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna spray my other shoe. I wasn't gonna spray my other shoe. I was gonna do a test, but that, this just smells so good. I'm gonna spray it. Yes. Oh, that's a that's a that's definitely worth it for me. Full disclosure, Mainland did send this product to me for testing, and I probably would have never bought it myself because it is pretty expensive. However, there's a reason that this stuff is really expensive, and I'm excited about it. That How those shoes smell right now is fantastic. I will probably be purchasing this in the future when this lovely bottle runs out. Now, they did send me two bottles. I am not going to spray this bottle be because I'm afraid that I'm going to love it and I want to give it away. So if you comment down below in the first two months after this video has published, look at the, look at the date, 
of publishing saying that you want to try mainland and what state or country you live in if you're outside of the United States say what country you're in if you're inside of the United States say what state you're in just so I know what to prepare for when I draw your name to be a winner I will mail this to you one lucky person comments down below in the first two months I will mail this to you so you can try it as well now if you want to try it before that or the giveaway is already over or you didn't win check out the link down in the description below where you can go get some of this stuff also if you want to wear some socks I will put a recommended sock down in the description below where you can go buy some socks that are designed or that would work really well with climbing shoes I hope that you've enjoyed this video share it with somebody that has stinky shoes it doesn't just have to be climbing shoes and I'll see you next time right here on climber dad